2022 Bowman Draft Jumbo. Random team. 19. It's full. Dice. 5. No field 5. Teams. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 5, 5. Teams. Contestants, same dice, one, two, three, four, five, 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 five. There we go. Not really, I just know all the, I do know. I mean, you've been around it as much as me. Not really. I lost a lot. I, I told the story last night. I lost a lot of money in craps very quickly. And just didn't really go back to it after that. But I'm familiar with it. I know how it works. At one point, I did a thing where I, like, would buy in for a shitload of money. And, um... Just to get comps, I didn't, I would bet really small, I'd bet like, really small, like I would go buy in for 20 grand and then bet $25 every roll, and try to deceive them into giving me more casino credit, I did that for like, two summers, when I was at the World Series, in between tournaments, just to kill time, when I was smoking cigarettes, because I smoked cigarettes for 17 years. It worked. Oh, I did for 17 years, Pack. I'm sorry, Davis. It was I. It wasn't right. I made a mistake, Davis. And yes, I did, Tiger. I apologize, Davis. I made a mistake. I I did the wrong teams. When I was doing the random, I did the wrong teams. I had to do it over. I apologize. It wasn't correct, though. It wouldn't have been the same thing because it wasn't right. I took out the wrong teams. That's why I had to redo it. Sorry about that. <laughs> Glory. We could talk about the Mets now. Wow, Chris, you got the Mets? What are the odds of that? Holy shit. That's Chris's team. What are the odds? Both lists had 26 teams, but... The Yankees and the A's are a pair, and I took them both out. I, I accidentally took out the Yankees and the A's instead of taking out the A's and the Phillies, which is what I was supposed to do. That was my mistake. I apologize about that. This is correct, though. You guys can wheel and deal now. I apologize, Davis. I know. it's like That's like why I should... Hey, what's up? That's why I should always be careful when doing the randomizer thing. My apologies, <laughs> Baxter. I love biscuits and gravy. I do love biscuits and gravy. Not fast food biscuits and gravy, but... With the Rockies... I mean, you still got a really good team, Davis. The Guardians are good. Um... With the Rockies, you're looking for the guy with the really long neck. I forget his name is Sterling, maybe? His name begins with an S. 
Um, and they also have Ritter, which is apparently a defensive specialist whose bat is coming around. I learned that about 45 minutes ago from you guys. And then uh, they have a third guy that looks like Zach Veen, but it's not Zach Veen. It's like a prospect, but it looks like Zach Veen. He's got that mustache. He's supposed to be decent. I think he's actually there. I think he, him or the, or the neck guy. Are there, are there two better prospects, I think, that you're looking for? Don't hold me to that. Beck. There you go, Beck. The guy that looks like Zach Veen. There you go, Lake Michigan. That He looks like Zach Veen. He does. It's true. It's true. It is true. Beck. Jordan Beck. That's right. Sterling. I was close. Sterling Thompson. I just, I call him Giraffe. He's got a really long neck. All right, let's open some packs. Actually, we gotta print this first. <coughs> there we go. Okay, Mason, we'll see you in a little bit. Isn't that crazy, Chris? What are the odds? Why, what did you have on the last one when I made a mistake in the previous random? Did you get the Nationals or something again? I didn't even see. I made a mistake with the teams. It wouldn't have been... It wouldn't have been uh, the way it was. I don't know who you had the first time around. But it is crazy destiny, perhaps, that you got... If you get something good out of the Mets for this, that would be crazy destiny. That would be so crazy. Yeah, I didn't see either. I didn't even look. Yeah, I messed up. I, I, I did the wrong teams. I took out the Yankees and the A's. I was supposed to take out the, Yan the A's and the Phillies. The Yankees and the A's are a pair. I took out both teams in the pair. So the teams wouldn't have worked out the way that they did anyway. But I made a mistake when I, I realized it. I was like, huh. <laughs> Call of Duty is, man, I used to play all those first-person shooters. I'd pull up, I still, I mean, I'd play you guys in Valorant, but I'm more of a League of Legends guy with a uh, Summoner's Rift, you know? I like League of Legends. I like Magic the Gathering. I'm a total nerd. What do you want me to tell you? But I also love sports. Ten years of season tickets to the New York Rangers in hockey. I used to write for Yankees.com when I was in college. I used to do game uh, series re uh, previews and recaps for Yankees.com a million years ago.
Yeah, I mean, I used to play way more video games. I was like, I'm, this is gonna sound like the nerdiest thing you you've ever heard, but I was literally like one of the best World of Warcraft players in the United States for years, for like two years, three years. I was the best. This is, this is gonna sound so funny. You guys are gonna like lose respect for my sports. <laughs> my sports knowledge when I tell you this about me, but I literally I was I was the best warlock in the Western Hemisphere for like three years. I used to travel around the country and compete in arena tournaments, and I always won. My partner and I always won. I was on the best five-on-five -five team for years. We were called. You're gonna love this. This was called. We were we were called Team Asia. The name of the team was Team Asia. They invited me to be on this team, okay? I wish June was here to hear this. It was a bunch of Asian kids. It was four Asian kids. They were unbelievable at video games, obviously. They thought I was Asian. They didn't know that I wasn't Asian. The name of the team was Team Asia. They invited me to be the warlock on this five-on-five, five-v-five five arena team. We were the best team. We were the best five-on-five five team for for multiple seasons over spanning years, like two to two and a half years. And then one day we met up to compete in a tournament in person, live in Anaheim at the convention center at like Comic Con or some shit like that. And they were like, oh my God, you're not Asian. <laughs> I was like, nope. Got a big Jufro. That's right, Lake Michigan. I'm a nerd. I love my video games. <laughs> I, I, I don't really play video games like I used to. I can't. Because I don't have the time. In fact, when somebody asks me like to play a video game, when they're like, oh, you gotta check out this game, I just like, I'm like, nope. Like, I, I, I can't, I can't play a video game without getting like beyond addicted. Like I can't, I can't do it in moderation. I'll just play it nonstop and master the game. I can't do it. So I don't play new video games anymore. I don't have the time. So the only video game I'll play here and there is Magic on my phone, and I probably play it maybe like 20 minutes a day. Half hour a day, tops. No more. Well, maybe less. On average, fifteen minutes a day. But I used to, I used to just play poker and video games. That's all I did. It's poker and video games. Poker and video games. That was my whole life for many years. I've never played it. I'm sure it is. I am not going to download it. I'm sure it is extremely fun. Any of you can invite me to play with a, in a video game with you? I will not play. <laughs> I will not play. I have these two friends in Brooklyn. Like, I'm good at sports video games too, right? FIFA, all that shit. Madden. And, uh, my, when I go to my friend's place, <laughs> JP, huh? When, when I, uh, when I go to my friend's place in Brooklyn, they love that, that MLB The Show. They love it, dude. They, that's the number one game that these two friends of mine, that's what they play. MLB The Show, all day, every day. They're both very good at it. Very, very good. I'm sure you guys are good at it, too. They're both very good. They always tease me. And they're like, come on, Brown, like, you know, take an at bat. And I'm like, no, like, I won't touch the computer. I won't touch the controller. I won't touch it. I, I'll, I refuse to touch it. Because I know I'll just master the game, and then they'll be upset that I'm better than them. So I just don't play. 
And, and it's, it's too time consuming. I don't have the time. I can't do it. Just say no. I feel like it's that advertisement from when I was a kid. Just say no to drugs. Just say no. I, I just say no to video games. I download nothing. I say no 100% of the time. I can't say yes. If I say yes, I'm just throwing away an unbelievable amount of hours. No, I'm not. And when it comes to video games, Lake Michigan, I'm not at all. I'm, I'm amazing at video games. I'm not modest at all about video games. I'm, I'm, I'm like it. I'm really good at video games. I can't play them anymore, though. I don't have the time. I had to give them up. They're done. Plus, my wife hates them. And I don't blame her. She's like, you're just wasting your time. She's right. They're fun. So I just I just play like magic. That's it here and there. On my phone when she's not around. Clash of Clans, I did that one too, JP. Yep. I, I haven't played Clash of Clans forever, but I'm sure I could pull up my village and you'd be like, oh yeah. <laughs> Once upon a time. I you swing at everything. I feel like everybody does that. I watch my friends strike everybody out. Because everybody swings. No, they don't take pitches. My wife hates video games. She thinks they're such a waste of time. For a little while, the only time I would play would be like in the middle of the night. Like I'd come back from playing a live poker game. And then before I would climb into bed, I would just go to the computer and play video games for like three hours, two hours. And then she would come out to the living room and be like, what the hell are you doing? Come to bed right now. And she would lose her mind. And that would be the end of the video game session. <laughs> you know, there's a reason why women hate video games. It's actually a very straightforward reason. Somebody taught me this when I was in college, like a teacher, explained this to me, and I thought about it, and he's 100% right, he's, a, he's, he's absolutely ready. Yes, Hank, that was nasty, dude. We got you a nice one, man. Huge. Um, he told me that, no, it's not that, Baxter, you know what it is, is that women, they care about the why the how, the details. If they're playing Super Mario, they don't give a shit about beating Bowser. They care, no, of course not, Findus. They care about Mario's outfit. They care about how cute he looks when he jumps. You understand? They care about all the in-between, the stuff that the guys don't care about, the, the, the useless details, the fluff, right? The characteristics, this and that. Guys, we care about problem, solution. Problem, solution. Gotta beat Bowser? Beat Bowser. That's it. Problem, solution. Women aren't like that. They like the details. It's all the in-between for them. Yeah, it's not, it's not even a marathon. It's, it's just like... I can go home whenever I want. It's fine. Backer will wake up. He'll see that I'm still on. He'll come to the office, and then we'll go get massages at Red Rock or something. I might go home to feed the cat. Maybe smoke a joint at some point in, in between. Actually, I'll probably smoke a joint the moment that I'm done on this stream. But that's neither here nor there. I mean, women are great, and they're also torturous. Can't live with them, can't live without them. But yeah, they, they, they don't like video games because there's they don't care about beating the game. If they're not like, oh yes, we won. I did it. I beat Bowser. They don't think it matters to them. It matters to guys. We're like, yes, I did it. I beat Bowser. Remember Mike Tyson's punch out? Mike Tyson's super punch out? 
I remember beating that game. And nobody in school believed that I beat it. So I went home and I recorded myself of the VCR beating it again. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like... Women don't care about that. They don't care about beating the game. Guys care about that shit. There's no quiz, Henny. We're just, you know, when you're... When you're on a lack of sleep... Sometimes you just rant. I'm opening packs anyway. It's a good time to talk. I could just do what I did for part of the night, which is just sit here in total silence while I open packs. That doesn't seem that much fun. That seems lame. Yes, Tyson. Or how about the Contra code, right? What was it? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. A, B, select, start. Or something like that. Castlevania, yes. Oh, yeah, dude. You had it. Bro. Express, you had to blow on the on the game, right? You, you had to leave it on overnight and hope that your parents didn't shut it off by accident. BA select start, yeah. It's a glory. It's early. The same philosophy won the people of Rome, he said. Big hit, Tank! <laughs> Always, Henny. It's like Backer said last night, I got... You, you tell me a topic, I could probably give you a story about it. I've got some really crazy stories, but they're not appropriate for stream. They're not even appropriate for Blaze After Dark. They're just inappropriate <laughs> completely. Not in a sexual way at all, for the record. More in a... Maybe a dangerous way. Anyway, we shall continue. Yes, the vacuum, man. The vacuum was dangerous. I also had a dog, a Scottish, we had a dog when I was growing up, a Scottish Deerhound. He would eat the video games, straight up. He was a monster. He was like, my friends used to come over, they used to tell me that my dog was like the, that dragon from the never-ending story. That's what they used to tell me my dog looked like. Scottish Deerhound. Google it if you don't believe me. All right, here we go. Let me, I need the top loaders. Shit. Uh, yep, we need top loaders. I don't understand for Blez Bros Van stories. I don't understand what that means. <coughs> Why was this is crazy? <laughs> nice, the Scottish here on looks like me. Don't they say you get a dog that looks like their owner or whatever? My dad got that dog, though. They're going to show up to work today, and they're going to be like, who left that mess in the kitchen? 
Meanwhile, it's like, that's food I'm still planning on eating. Don't touch that shit. I'm gonna heat that shit up. Don't touch that. Don't do that. Where's my plastic? All right, let's do it. Random Team 19, here we go. Let's rock out. Good walk, everybody. <coughs> Jesse with Baltimore over there. Johnny with Washington. Wow. We got some upside downers here. Uh, I mean, Justin, it, it's only two hours until I'm 24 hours. Yeah, I would imagine, yeah. I'm not like trying to do 24 hours, like, oh my God, I gotta do 24 hours, but it does look like we're gonna hit the 24 hour mark, yes. That looks likely. Chase, Major at our first auto at the break. Boston going to Burr and then Joyce on a refractor speaking of Burr Bill Burr is hilarious he really is Die Hard not baby Die Hard but actual Die Hard in the form of some speckle non-numbered variation Oh, we have a no way. Does this, does this have ink? I'm not sure. Oh my god, we have an or a true orange with ink behind Danny D'Andrade for St. Louis going to Junk Wax King. It's Jimmy Crooks the third. Five out of 25 for the Junk Wax King. Wow. No, I don't smoke anymore, Pac. I don't, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. No nicotine. Nice hit, Junk Wax. Let's take a quick little pick of our boy Jimmy, and then we'll move on. Jimmy! I'm thinking of that scene from Goodfellas. Jimmy! All right, good pick. Good pick. Smiled through the catcher's mask. What a gent. I'm actually not. I'm not craving, Pack. I'm not. I was actually thinking about this the other day, how I don't crave at all. I just don't. I maybe did for the first, like, I don't know, month or two. I'm over it. Yes, I have ODG. You know how we do here. It's the Blaz Factory. Technically, for me, this is still Blaz After Dark. I just want to just want to make that statement in case I say anything inappropriate by accident or intentionally. Blaz After Dark. Blaz Before Dawn. <laughs> it's actually way after dawn, even on the West Coast. Mejia to 99. And then Reggie on the refractor. Purple paper piece of Sal, our buddy Sal Stewart for the Reds. He's the guy for the Reds. Chase, Chase Jung. Chase DeLauder to 99 on the paper piece. Back to Chase. Different Chase. Chase on Chase on Chase. Yeah, I will at some point, ODG. It's okay. We're Gucci. A very broken Chase. And then a Jackson. A Jackson base, actually. Yeah. Sunny. Bunch of paper. 
Blue Auto, Blue Wave Auto of Trevor Martin for the Rays. Going to Sweet Louie. That's out of 150. EBJ on the refractor, nice. And then Drew Gilbert. <clears throat> also refractor variation. Not variation, it's refractor. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. The refractor version. There you go. I don't have any right now, Chuck. I might order some. I was thinking about maybe making an order. <laughs> it's okay chuck i'm good i appreciate it though I'll, i can order for myself i promise you guys don't have to do that oh, let's try to stay in the middle let's try to stay in the middle here if we're going to show a big handful of garbage let's try to stay in the middle thank you though Balti refractor. Green speckle, Yendry Rojas. Then a Birdsell, a Birdsell base auto for the Cubbies. I don't know if it's open. Is Starbucks open, Chuck? If it's open, I'll tell you right now. Justin, what's next is PYT32 or Tops 5 star number 8? Chuck, I could just order myself. It's really okay. I probably should do that. Let's see if it's open. I'll just order myself. I kind of want to take Henny's advice, though, and try the blonde thing. Let's see if they're open. They're not open. Are they open? Oh, yeah, it's open. All right. Is it open? Yeah, it's open. I'll order a quick Starbucks. I got it. I could do it. This was totally on pace to be my fastest break yet, by the way. <laughs> I was looking forward to that. <laughs> Let's see. Let's add one shot of mocha. Damn, they didn't. They don't have it. It's fine. Let's add this. A blonde? Wow, that's horrible, Thomas. My parents' house got struck by lightning recently. They lost everything they own. 
that happened so I can relate to you. That's terrible. I'm sorry. Let me just order this kafefe. <coughs> I'm looking for... They don't really have what I was trying to get. It's fine. Uh... Damn, they really don't have it. We'll try this. We'll just try this. Alright, food's ordered. Sorry for the delay. We're back to business. That's horrible, Thomas. That sucks. Jackson Base, Nick York, 250. Sorry, just talking uh, in the Blez chat. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, we have a redemption. Nice. All that waiting for good stuff. Let's see. All that waiting for good stuff. Uh, class of 2022. Dalton rushing. Still happy, but we don't like inserts, and the industry doesn't like inserts. Swoojka. We'll take it, though. We'll take it. Dalton rushing is not an easy auto to hit, so we'll take it. The answer, Jay Keats, is when Hawk gets here in two hours, it'll be the first thing that he does because I am not going to break it. Backer told me not to break. Backer told me not to break the Super Jumbo and to let Hawk break it. So I'm not breaking it. I apologize that it's been full the entire night, but Hawk will be here in an hour and 45 minutes, and I will tell him in person to break it before everything else. I apologize for the delay. Lampy. We love Lampy. Am I not on? Am I? I gotta stay centered here. I gotta stay centered. Mercedes. I think our second Lamar King Jr. refractor in not a long period of time. Blue Auto, David McCabe for the Braves. Going to Swoochka. We'll take that one. That's better. 
That's better than Class of 2022 stuff. We like that. We like, the industry likes blues, true blues. Yep, sorry Keats, I just, I'm not, they told me not to break the Super Jumbo, and they told me to leave it for Hawk. Hawk will be here in an hour and 45, it's not so bad. Could be worse, soon, soon. And then Hawk can break all the Super Jumbo you guys want. <laughs> Super Jumbo day for the Hawk Mania. Marco Luciano, uh, Termar Johnson on the refractor. My apologies, though, Keats. We'll sleeve it up as we finish that pile. <clears throat> We're at the one quarter mark of the amazing break. No, I know a lot of, I mean, you know. There are, what are there, six more autos in Super? Six more six more autographs in Super Jumbo? I think, I like Jumbo for a lot of, for, you know, whatever. There's a bunch of reasons, but I, there are six more autographs in Super Jumbo, right? Oh, I, I see, yeah. that I remember that was the complaint. You're right, Chris. Colson on the Aqua Refractor. Josh. Kasevich for the Blue Jays to 499 in the refractor autograph. Well, that's Toronto there. Let it ride. Romero on the paper numbered piece. A. Actually, you know what? Just do this. This is why we made an extra box ahead of time. So that we could just roll right into this new box. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Reggie on the refractor. Looks like we have an aqua lava of some sort coming up. Yasir Mercedes. Elijah Green Invicta. Redemption, Redemption, Mejia is our resident sweater. This one should be good. Per my, I just feel like it'll be better, like it's going to be good. It's blue. We like blue, industry likes blue. Eric Brown Jr., nice. He's a really freaking hard hit. He never comes out. That's awesome. 
Seed your brain with a blue EBJ. We love it. He's a really hard hit. That's like actually a picture, believe it or not. He's really hard to hit. He like never comes out. Very nice. We like Eric Brown Jr. And we like blue. Drew Gilbert Refractor. Dalton, rushing, refractor. Purple paper piece of Boyd, and then we have some gold coming up. I think there's a blue auto behind it, so I don't think it has ink. It's Tovar for the Rockies, going to Amazing on the gold, and there's a blue behind it. It's Braves going to Swoochka. Owen Murphy. Wow, I just missed the jersey number on the Tovar, 13 instead of 14. And then Owen Murphy is to 150, 85 and a 150 on the true blue of Owen. Swoochka having himself a break, man. Right, we'll finish and then we'll sleeve. Coffee will be here in a minute. Justin, there are Atomic, but only, but very few. Only on the Invicta, I think, unless I'm mistaken. Only on the Invictas. I based on what I've seen, I think they only have Atomic on the Invictas. And I'm trying to think if I've seen. I think I've seen Invictas or Atomic Invictas without an autograph, but I can't remember. Only on the Invictas, and they're to 150, I think. Are all the inserts able to get Atomic Junk Wax? All the inserts? I don't think all the inserts. I could be wrong though. Dominic Keegan, base auto for the Rays. Wow, 
Wow, interesting. Look at that. Jesse with a very specific claim. Jerry wants, Jesse wants a mood ring red auto. That's exactly what I hit of Gavin Lee. I hit that. That exact, what you asked for the, a mood ring red auto, I hit that. Hello? Okay, I'll, uh, are you outside? Okay, I'll be right there. Thank you. All right, let's go get some coffee. We'll be right back. Gotta come back to a clean house, you know? Be right back. Pretty fast. This thing is hot as hell. Yeesh. Wow, sick, Tom. Where the hell did you hit that, Tom? Jeez, that's a monster. Was it? Was it auto? Yeah. No, we hit. Uh, you honestly, I'll show you, Jesse, real fast, real fast. Just because I'm taking a sip of my coffee, so we have about 30 seconds. Yeah. Sick, right? We're still breaking, Chris. We have we still at the we're not even at the halfway mark. We haven't seen uh We saw Eric Brown Jr. and uh Jimmy Crooks. Orange. We've hit two solid, really solid cards so far. We have a lot to go. All right, let's continue. Balcazar, purple. Brooksley and Victa. Our old friends, Churio and Raffaella on the refractors. Tyler Stewart for the Mets on the lava, the aqua lava. To 199. 
Kasevich. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Melton Refractor. Thomas Harrington on the speckle. The never ending, the never ending mm -hmm. ship. <laughs> Connor, seven to 99. And then Jordan Sprinkle, the 250 auto. Dominguez, paper. Oh, it's funny, we were just talking about the Atomics. I think we have one right here. We have an Atomic right here. An Atomic Invicta. Of Jet Williams for the Mets to 150. 57 out of 150 on the Jet Atomic Invicta. And then a Jordan Beck Refractor. <laughs> Baxter. Yeah, backer will do it. Backer will do it. Don't worry. What's up, Polar? Good morning. I'm still here from last from yesterday. <laughs> Hawk will be here soon. Well, Hawk will be here in an hour and a half. And then uh and then Scott will be here. Esplez will be here later. He'll be here at like 5, I want to say. I still have this note here to send the email for PYT 34 through 40. Second half begins. Reckley. Yiddy. And Dylan Lesko on the Aqua Lava. Dylan Lesko again. This time with ink. For the Padres. Sorry, wrong pile for these guys. Pintar, his refractor for the Diamondbacks. Valera, aqua refractor. Logan Tanner and McKenzie on the regular refractors. You know, Baxter, it's so sick that you just said that. I was just thinking to myself, I should turn around and ask them as a favor to start making boxes. But, like, you know what it is? It's like... Sometimes it's best that they receive the instructions from somebody else. I'm an abrasive New Yorker. I can come off very harsh and aggressive, even though my intention is always good. And my words or requests are coming from the right place. I still don't, it doesn't come out right. So I just, I'm just going to let Backer or Esplez 
or Derek, the Dillman, dull out the instructions and I will just chill and continue to make boxes as I need to. But I'm only here for another 90 minutes and I don't think we're going to need to make any more boxes, so it doesn't matter. I think we're safe. Jet Williams on the speckle. We like that for the Mets. For the Mets and Chris Egg. Los Mets. Our Mets, Chris. Our Mets. They're your Mets. They're my Mets. Huh. Hiya. Let's continue. I see some what I think are cool looking cards, but I can't tell. So I'm just too tired at this point. Oh, there's gold. There should be an auto behind that gold. I think. Robert Hassel. What color is the auto? It's green. I think green auto here. For the Orioles. Silas. Wow. Silas showing off the guns. He learned how to do that in Texas. So I've been told. Robert Hassel, gold, though, for the Nationals. We like that. 37 out of 50. And then Silas for the Orioles. And Jesse showing off those Longhorn guns. Justin, uh, check out PYT32. I don't know if those last three teams have already been sold, but there were three teams left on the board. Last I looked. And then also Five Star Hobby. PYT number eight. There's a few teams. There's There were six teams left on that one. So look at five star. Look at the next Bowman draft jumbo full case. And uh, also tr uh, triple threads was down to 11. It's probably closer than that now or around there. Probably the same idea. Uh, Jack Brannigan and Parada on refractors. I would say one of those three breaks is what I would recommend taking. Triple threads, five star, or PYT32 Bowman Jumbo Draft. Which number? No, for... No, that's the random team. I mean, you could join that too. Uh, that may not go next. I don't know how many people are left in that. Somebody, how, is there another random team in the store even? Is there even another random team in the store? Nah, Justin, you know. When I first showed up here, I tried doing that, man. They, they did not respond well to it. They hated it. Straight up, Justin, you, you, wanna, you know the truth is? This entire office hated me. <laughs> they hated me the first the first like month plus that I was here they hated me <laughs> they hated me <laughs> and then they realized I was actually a nice guy um I'm just abrasive it's true I'm an abrasive New Yorker let me tell you all right I'm probably breaking too far to the right because I'm not paying attention a little bit but we have a redemption and we're gonna stick this one right in the middle hopefully right between the eyes as the Blesniks like to say let's see what we got here all right, it's got it's got color. It's got color. Nice, Brooks Lee. Brooks Lee, very nice. Here we go, Chuck. Let's go. Eighty percent Chuck, twenty percent top sirloin. Prime Chuck W. Getting a Brooks Lee autograph. Uh, we love it. It's true. We all we all mean it's you know that's interesting. I never thought of that, Justin. I I I just give people the benefit of the doubt until they're a total douche. <laughs> At which point I become a douche too. <laughs> that's the truth. Hold on, I got to read this. This guy's out of his mind. I vented to you guys about this yesterday. I just took care of my friend's cats 
He has four cats. Jace Jung, Mood Ring. He has four cats. I just took care of his cats for like a week while him and his fiance are out of town. He lives on the strip. It's mad inconvenient for me to go there and take care of the cats, but he's my boy. So of course I said no problem. And this is not the first time I've done this. I took care of the cats. I love his cats. His cats are wonderful. The guy's landing. He's landing at 11 o'clock in the morning. And he asked me to go feed the cats at 10. Or he's getting home at 11. I was like, dude, just feed the cats an hour late. And now he's texting me right now saying, hey, are you going to feed the cats at 10 today? I'm going to say no. Done. Done and done. I'm like, dude, I'm not going there to clean. I'm not going there to clean up your place and to feed your cats today. You're, they're going to be fine. Jordan Sprinkle. We like that card. We're going to just leave it. It's all done. Chase, chase the louder. It's a 150 on the paper piece. Hey. I love his cats for the record. I think his cats are wonderful. I really love his cats. I say to his place before I lived here during the World Series when he was out of town, I took care of his cats and I played poker at the World Series. I love his cats. His cats are amazing. But they're going to be fine for one hour, that's for sure. What do we got here? We got uh, Trevor Martin auto for the Rays. I feel like we're due for another really good card. This has been a pretty solid case. Hold on a sec. Man, he sure is needy for a guy that asks for a favor. I'm like, hey man, I'll give you the keys tomorrow. And he's like, uh, fiance really wants them today. <laughs> okay. Come, come and get them, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not dropping them off. <laughs> Sorry. Not happening. I was like, I'll hit you up when I wake up. He'll probably say okay. He's actually a good guy, but 
He's just a little delusional sometimes. He's a great guy. He's just delusional. Jace Jung Purple Nice to 250. That's a good card. We like the Jace Jung. Who has the Tigers up there? AK. 513. Kumar Rocker on the Invicta. Thank you, John. <laughs> that this is John John's John's introduction to 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 seeing breaking for the first time is me pulling a twenty four hour session complaining about taking care of four cats. Welcome to Blez. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what this I can't say that with a straight face. I love you, John. Welcome to Blez. That I can say with a straight face. That's kinda of, you're you're in you're joining at a very funny moment. <laughs> Victor Med Medeiros. And then uh, Jordan Bruce Sprinklestein for the White Sox. That's what we need? Damn. That's what we need? Another? We need another Gavin Cross redemption? That's the request? We'll see what we can do. Pallet. Paper piece for the Yankees. No, he's, he's good, Baxter. He's a good guy. He's clueless. He's a good guy. Backer knows him too. He's a he's a he's a good guy, but he's he's just clueless. Sometimes he doesn't know up from down, but he's actually a good guy. He doesn't realize that some of the things he says or does is insane. All right, we have green and then a purple auto. The green is Chandler Simpson to ninety nine for the Rays, and the purple auto is also for the Rays, and it's a good one. Ryan Cermak, the guy. The guy. It's a 250, ink. Rays. Sweet Louie. Uh, no, Stro. There were three teams left on the board when we started this break. I don't know if they're still there or not. They're probably sold out, but we haven't done it yet, no. Either that or... Or five star or number eight will be next, depending on which is full. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, he could afford to pay me, Mike, for sure. He's very, very successful. I, I don't even. I should probably just, it's, to me, it's not about, like, I, you know, what am I going to do, ask for gas money? Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a cat sitter. I don't want him to pay me for taking care of his cats. What I'd rather, which I know is the case, is I take care of his cats, which I've now done many times. And then when I go on vacation with my wife, he can take care of my cats. But the thing is, the funny part is I know he would just put it on his fiance. I know his fiance would be the one that ends up taking care of my cats, which is fine because she's lovely and she would take good care of the cats. But I'm just saying like he <laughs> it's like it's a good deal for him. His friend his friend takes care of his cats and then his fiance takes care of my cats when I'm out of town. <laughs> what does he take care of? <laughs> no, he's a good guy. I'm just teasing. He actually is a great guy. He's a clueless great guy. He's been a friend of mine for a long time. His nickname, this is great. You guys will like this. My One of my friends, mutual friend, has him saved in his phone as nonstop. That's just what he has. That's literally, oh, Tamar Johnson on the refractor. That's what my friend has him saved in his phone as. He has him saved in his phone as his name in his phone is nonstop. Sir Max and Gabriel on the refractors because he is nonstop. You think I'm nonstop? He is nonstop. Cleveland Mojo.
Caden Wallace for KC on the refractor auto. And then a chase to louder. Yeah, we'll sleeve it. Yeah, I mean, again, the teams wouldn't have been the same, Davis. I apologize for that. They, w they wouldn't have been the same if I had done it right. That was the first time I made that. That's I hate you can't making mistakes on a random team is like, yeah, not good. I apologize. We're still we're still going. Seed your brain. You hit a good card. I feel like you hit a good card. I feel like you hit a good card. In this break, you did hit a good card in this break. Do you know what you hit? You hit a pretty good card. Yeah, you hit a nice, you hit this. Yes, Kroop, you hit really hard too. Nice, Kroop. We did good for you. A couple, I think it was a couple greens, or Elijah, an Elijah green maybe. Yeah, you did well. And that's a nice, that's a nice EBJ, a nice blue EBJ for you. Now, we're going to find more good cards for everybody. Let's continue. Dalton rushing. Chase the louder on the paper piece. We have orange. I don't think it has an auto. Nope. Alex de Jesus is still pretty good. Oh, the next card has an auto, of course. Troy Melton for the Tigers for 513 AK. I like the true orange. 8 out of 25, Alex de Jesus. People are high on him. Absolutely. Green, green. Yeah, it was two greens. It was a green, green, and then another green. It was a green green and a refractor green. It was green on green on green. The green green. That's actually kind of funny though. Green green. <laughs> it's got to be good. I feel like green's green is worth just an inch more than anybody else's green in terms of proportion. No, it's got to be. Jet Williams refractor and a Balti refractor. Uh, we have blue coming up. Caden Wallace and then a Shalen Polanco on the blue. Cole Young, Invicta. Citizen for the Dodges. What's up, Justin? Did you? Did you now? Did you now? I mean, I am. I am Baxter. That's me. I thought you were talking about me for a second. I'm like, I am. You're right. That is me. Cole Young Refractor.
We have an auto, but it looks like a pitcher. I see a leg kick. Yep. Owen Murphy. For the Braves. Pitcher. For Swuchka. Passiola and then a, Sta a Sal Stewart. Refractor of each of those two guys. Nito. Nito Keen. Refractor. All right, one box left. <laughs> Just don't mention George W. Bush to Stone. He's not a George W. Bush fan. <laughs> Mizrowski. Brady House. Wow. First color, Brady House. Somebody asked me why you would buy Brady House in the PYP on Tuesday, the 25 caser. This is why. You can get color like this. We like Brady House. He's a good player. Leave it to Beaver and Cutter Coffee on the refractors. I see orange coming up. and It's not paper. I don't know if it's going to have an autograph or not. We have orange coming up soon in the next handful. Orange in the next handful. Let's see what we got here. I can't tell if it has an autograph or not. We'll find out. We'll find out. Probably, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess not, but I'm usually wrong when I guess no. Yeah, it has an auto. It has an auto. A true orange auto. Let's do it. Good luck. Last box mojo for the Strohs. Going to Swoochka, killing this break. Trey Dombrowski the third, the pitcher, 24 out of 25. True orange, team color match. Makes it a little, a little more perky. I like it. The colors in this product just pop, man. The trues look so nice in every color. Like all day, I was asking, oh, which which color do you guys like better, the true black or the true blue? But like the true orange is beautiful too. I said, Swooch. You had a big you had a big break for this random team. Very, very, very solid break for you, Swoochka. Very solid break. A Yep, yep, Baxter. I tend to agree with you. His autograph is too clean. He can't be a great player. He's never going to be Mariano Rivera with that autograph. Although, hey, wait a, wait a second. Rivera has the cleanest autograph, so you never know, right? How does that make any sense, Baxter? Mariano Rivera has, like, the nicest autograph ever. Isn't, isn't the rule if they have a shitty autograph they're not supposed to be good? He's got a good autograph. I'm confused. Is Mariano the exception? Do pitchers not count? Are they excluded from that rule? That could be the that could be the answer. Pitchers might just be excluded from that rule. They can have they can have beautiful signatures and still be good. Ryan Reckley paper. <laughs> exactly, he's a closer. He's got more time to sign the cards. Berea for the Blue Jays, and then a Parada on the refractor. Jordan Walker on the Aqua Refractor. And our old friend Jackson Churio for another back-to-back -back paper pieces of Ryan Reckley. How about that? How about that?
Robert Hassel again. In front of a Tyler Schweitzer. Another pitcher. Re refractor pitcher. White Sox and behind the uh, Hassel to 75. I like the Hassel to 75 for Johnny Badger. There probably won't be anything else in this handful here. That will be the break. Now let's, let's sleeve and top load the rest of it. Non-stop man, that's his nickname. Yes, he's from Long Island. You bet your ass he's from Long Island. Here's a recap. There's a couple of Jet Williams there. Tovar to 50. Brady, Hassel. De Jesus, true orange. Jace Jung, purple. Robert Hassel again. Gold. Gold and yellow, Robert Hassels, huh? Orange, team color match, Trey Dombrowski. The Eric Brown Jr. Blue, which is a beautiful card. Sir Max to 250. Brooks Lee to 199. Sprinkle to 250. Dalton Rushing, class of 22. And Jimmy Crooks to 25. There's a couple orange in there. It's nice. All right. Send a check. That was the break. Thank you very much for joining.